So it's Monday and um, this week looks like it's going to be slightly busy um, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to get enough reading done. I my sound off, I have a bit of a cold, my nose is blocked, um, I'm coming out with a sore throat, so I don't feel so good. Um, but let me just quickly take you through, because this week, for me, I want to be, I want it to be productive reading-wise, because I have a lot of books I want to read this month, so I want to see as much, I want to get as much reading done this week as possible. So, um, so this is my TBR for the week. I want to finish, I want to read What Sonny Saw in the Flames by Medio Hora for. I was going to have, this was the last book I didn't get to read for my Mythathon challenge, which was to read a book with a child main character. So I'm hoping that I would read it. It's a small book, um, it's a short book. I, I should get through it in like an afternoon, hopefully, all fingers crossed. So I want to read this. I also want to read Clock Clock Angel by Cassandra Clare. Um, I'm reading the Cassandra Clare books in order of publication date because that is one of the um, I watched this. Um, I watched Emma of Emma Books' um, video whereby she was telling us about how you know we could read the Cassandra Clare books, and uh, so I'm going with the publication date order. So I've read the first um, initial trilogy of um, the Mortal Instrument, that's the Tear of um, that's the Tear of Bones, the Tear of Ashes, and the Tear of Glass, and then she said we should alternate with the internal devices and the rest of the TMI. So I'm going to read Clockwork Angel, then after that I'm going to read City of Falling Angels, then I'm going to read Clockwork Prince, and then after that I'm going to read City of Love Souls, and then I'm going to read Clockwork Princess, and after that I'm going to read. Um, I think I'm going to read Bane Chronicles, then City of Ebony Fire. I'm going to check and confirm, but I'm basically following our order because um, the way she explained it, it made a lot of sense in that there are some, um, I don't want to be spoiled for um, future events in the later books. And she said that if we don't read it in this order, we most likely would be. So, yeah, that's the plan. I'm also reading Gideon the Ninth, which is one of my, which is the prompt for um, conspiracies, right? Um, is it conspiracy? No. Which is the prompt for the, which is the prompt for the hunt, which is that we're meant to read a book like about the undead. Um, so Gideon the Ninth by Tasmid Noha. This is my choice. Stunning. I can't wait to read it. And finally, I want to read Sorcerer of Thorns. I was meant to have read this for um, the mute, but I didn't get to it. I ended up using uh, my audiobook of the Killer Kingdom to fulfill that prompt for a biology. But I'm going to read Sorcerer of Thorns because I've already read the first chapter and I'm interested in finishing the rest of it. So that is four books I hope I can get to this week. Let us see if I succeed.
Friday night. I know it's really, really dark. I'm still at the office. I just. I know this baby was not part of the books I set out to read um, this week, but I picked it up and I just finished it. And what the. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Like, I don't, I don't have words I, I can't think i'm still in awe at the magnificent the perfection that is this book the perfection that, like, the motherfucking perfection of this book like oh my god this book is so i just oh my god oh my god this book is oh. as with my entire relationship, my reading um, journey with the, with the Illuminae series, starting with Illuminae, um, just like with that, Gemini, I couldn't put it down. I read it um, at a stretch. You will see from um, yesterday's vlog that I went to like a party and I hung out with friends and all that. Yeah, I did that. But <laughs> I got home at like past 11, almost till 12, like midnight. Um, that's when I got, got home and then I started reading Gemma and I read it and I couldn't put it down. I read it to like past three in the morning, went to bed for like three hours, came back to work, did my work and then later in the evening I picked up from where I stopped and I just, I'm still shook. This is such a great book. I can't wait to read. I can't wait to read the third book in the series. I am, J. Christopher and Amy Kaufman have confirmed that there's their magic together. You know, I already know that J. Christopher is magic because I love the Nevernight series, but the Illuminate files just confirmed like together, he and Amy Kaufman are magic together. I can't wait to read the final book in this series because this series has definitely made it to my top favorite series of all time, like easily. Um, I can't wait to read Obsidian to see how it all ends and then eventually read Aurora Rising because I want to see their magic again, but definitely five stars. Loved it. So it's Sunday and I decided I'm just going to wrap up my video at this point because it's Sunday night, like it's late into the night. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. You can see my hair. I went to get it done. It's pretty, I don't know. It's gorgeous. Um, but I went to get it done and I have this extreme, very, very terrible back pain. And I just want to just um, edit this vlog, put it up and go to bed because I repeat, I am in so much pain right now like ah oh god damn like first I was ill and now I have terrible back pain like it's just not my week it's just not being my this new year my life is obviously starting off on a great start anyway um, I'm still reading Clockwork Angel I didn't get that, that much reading done this week I was busy at work so um, there is that but I didn't get that much reading done although technically I'm on page 347 which is not bad I have like about a hundred hundred and twenty more pages to go and then I'll be done with Clockwork Angel and then hopefully pick up yeah City of Fallen Angels and um, yeah so that's my plan this is going to be the first book I'm going to read this is the first book I'm planning on reading in the new week and I have other books I would hopefully get to. I'm still planning on reading 28 books this month. Um, would I pull it off? I don't know, but that is the plan. Let's see if I would actually pull it off. But um, my thoughts on Clockwork Angel, I'm enjoying it. I don't know why. Like, it's not as plot driven as the way City of Bones was. Like, the first, the City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass was. Like, that first trilogy was just speed on. Like, I understand because they were, were building the world we were understanding where it was going and so it was very plot driven but this is very slow this is up to a very slow start so i guess i would say it's more character driven but um this just confirms that um uh, just like just like um clary Frey, tessa gray gets on my fucking nerve because she's just so she does she takes the most stupid dumb decisions the belief that she knows better the um the instinctiveness of her actions which usually means that um she makes things worse because you know she does not take the time to think um yeah i thought i had enough of that with clary but tessa is bringing it on fully and i'm just so f i'm this close to losing my shit but i'm just reading it i'm like it gets better it gets better yes um will um maybe i will start to really really like him at the end of this book or in book two but right now he gets on my nerves. Jem is 
day I would protect him. I want him protected. Um, Charlotte Bram Bramwell is amazing. She's so fucking kick ass. She's such a badass. I just I want to protect her and uplift her and tell her that she's doing a great great job as the head of the, uh, of the London Institute and she should not let anybody downplay her abilities because she's doing such a great job. Um, Eric Bramwell should be protected at all costs, even though, yeah, I, I like there was that part where they were having a conversation with Mudmain and he basically talks about the praxis and you know how he saw demons. And all I'm thinking is, like, Henry, seriously, you should not be having this conversation with somebody you do not know. You don't tell strangers secrets like that. Like, I am a hundred percent sure that shit is going to bite him in the ass someday. Like, the whole point of him just blotting things, like, uh, I understand why because I do think he's somewhere on the spectrum but at the same time i'm just like no why would you tell him that because i don't i don't trust nobody i don't know i don't trust my name like it just it just gives me the creeps see and alexei like they're probably walking hand in hand or something because it just gives me the creeps but anyway um i'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it so far it's looking like a solid four star read not a five star read because i'm not totally and completely like losing my mind and connecting so well with all these characters but it's it's a pretty decent first star read which is not bad because remember the first book in the mortal instrument series that city of bones for me was a 2.5 star read and this is the first book in the trilogy of um the infernal devices and we're already boom we're already in the four star so i have faith i have faith so um yeah i like i said i'm going to wrap things up now because once again i'm tired i need to sleep um and that would be the end of this week's vlog not that much happened this week i, I, I apologize maybe next week will be better maybe it would not i don't know but either way i will see you next week for next week's reading vlog because yeah i i i totally feel like i should i totally feel in the mood for making reading vlogs this day so bear with me bye oh, hi. my strange addiction my doctors can't explain my symptoms so